Great rise in YouTube. Great rise in Facebook. I'm getting it together, y'all. I'm getting it together. Hey, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday. Let's start this fun walk. Well, it's quick walk. It's quick walk. Oh, that camera looked a little too close to my mouth reconstruction. Let me move it back some. <laughs> You know I look over at the camera and smile. I don't want y'all to see everything. I still working on this camera for YouTube. Okay, here we go. Let's start. Oh, come on for the walk, y'all. Come on for the walk. I'm borrowing it from Tracy. Tracy, it's his YouTube. T Tracy. T R E Y E E. I'll look at the spelling. Tracy. Y'all know I didn't clean my glasses. That's what I was supposed to do when I was rushing back in here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. Tracy said, come on in the room, y'all. So I said, come on for the walk, y'all. Come on for the walk. Come on for the circulation, y'all. Come on for the circulation. Great risings, great risings. Great rising, Kansas. Diane, I have to apologize to you. And I have to make it known that we're dog sitting. So anything like instant messaging or anything other than me coming on and walking in the morning, that's pretty much it. I do get times to like post little things in between, but between dog sitting and trying all these new recipes, and I'm trying to keep food in the freeze and stuff like that so I can free up some time on that side. So my apologies, Diane. I'm going to try to go upstairs and set up the computer because I have to take some footage off one thing and put it on another. Hold on, y'all. This fan ain't nowhere near me. I don't know where this fan is, but it ain't anywhere near me. I ain't feeling nothing. Oh, that feel way better. I just want the air circulating. It ain't got nothing to do with hot. It got everything to do with breathing. And though I just have this cotton. This is cotton. And I just have my cotton shirt on. Catch my sweat. My long sleeve t turbulent t shirt to catch my sweat. So, y'all come on for the walk, y'all. And like, comment, share, Facebook, hit that bell, subscribe. Yes, indeed. We got enough episodes underneath us of walking over six months on Facebook and YouTube of our morning walk. So I feel confident now to encourage you to exercise, you know. In the beginning, it was like, oh, what if I don't make it through? What if I don't do the whole walk? You know, what if I'm just leaving people on, getting them excited to walk, and then I don't walk. So the whole way through, I wasn't encouraging you guys to like, comment, share, or subscribe on YouTube to my page, which is Inspiration Sensation. Woo, woo. And, um, yeah, Inspiration Sensation. But you can find it on the Great Rises Walk or Morning Walk, because in the beginning, that's when we started. But then, Great Rises is, <laughs> Great Rises. I don't, just the sound of it is, I don't know. I want to say tintillating, but I don't think that's the right word. We're just saying it. Great risings. Great risings. 
Rises. See? That's how I hear it in my head. So, and it's been working. I, I, I guess eventually I'll be able to describe to you how it was working. But I'm going to put out garbage. I don't walk and fed dogs, everything. But I, my apologies, Diane. And I'm not, I won't be instancing, instant messaging anyone and I'm not going to make that promise. My apologies. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming through. Yes. We have um, Russell Griffin, our little Ollie. I'll post a picture of him on my page. And we get him in the summertime. And he is such fun. He is such fun. He keeps us laughing. And of course we have two pits. So we keep it pretty good. So we keep the baby pit in a muzzle because she doesn't understand. Um, British, the old pit, him and the little Thank you, thank you for coming on the walk, y'all. Oh, y'all came on the walk. Like, comment, share, y'all. Like, comment, share. YouTube, subscribe. Um, we, we love that little dog. So, the old dog is used to him. They were together for a lot of years before the baby came. And the baby, they've been together before. This is not their first time together. Um, so just watching them, just watching them, how that whole pack thing works, how they protect and guard each other, you know, um, it's, it's, it's funny and time consuming, you know, like they're upstairs in their cages. I was, I was going to, I put the, the, our, our Ollie, our Ollie, that's the Brussels Griffin. I put Ollie in the cage when I go do the walk, just for his protection because I'm not up there. And I've been trying to let Ebony stay out, but I noticed her today when I let put Ollie in the cage and she stayed out, she went over and was knocking at the cage. So now, like, I, like any other day, they're both upstairs in the cage. And they're very happy to be in the cage together, separate cages, just looking at each other. And they're like, well, you're in the cage, and I'm in the cage, so we're in the cage. <laughs> so they're upstairs in the cage. No barking, except when they time, when my, they know when this walk is supposed to be over. Hey, y'all. Uh, they know when the walk is supposed to be over, so they'll start barking. So, so I made this little, I saw it. You know when you see something and, and your body says, I want that. Oh, there's a nice breeze coming through that window. Come on, breeze, come through. Come through, breeze. <laughs> oh, love that air. Um, yeah, so you know how when you see this recipe and you can literally taste it. So it was lit, red lentils, curry, Red lentil soup. And I was like, wow. Red lentils. Curry. So I played the video. And I watched her make it. And I never had that. Oh, oh, thanks for coming in. Oh, y'all are on the walk. I, I'm through with y'all. Y'all are on the walk. I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at all of y'all on the wall. Yes, indeed. I can't smile like I want to, <laughs> but I'm happy to see y'all. Yeah, y'all came on on the walk, so I guess Tracy is right. She said, call them in. So I'll be doing that from now on. Not alone. Okay, what was I talking about? Okay, right. The red lentil soup. So, I'm saying, 
So, and she was making it. And she put in sweet potatoes. And I know sweet potato has a very healing um, quality. And I should eat more of them, but usually it's candied. What, what do I know sweet potatoes from? Roasted under the, the uh, coals or, you know, in the oven. Ooh, I'm, I'm really close to this one. Um, or in the oven. And, um, or down in some coals. Or when I barbecue, stick some down there. But I don't, I don't basically eat or candy yams or sweet potato pie. That's it. And I was, I was feeling like I needed whatever sweet potatoes has. I started feeling like I needed, and that's what grabbed me when I saw, when I read that the title of the video, the cooking video for the red lentils. And I said, "Holy cow! Yeah!" Right away, my body knew that's what I. We, we had to have it. So, I made it yesterday, and it was everything. It had that, was that, Conan, Conan, C-U-M-I-N, and then my grated, um, grated ginger. That's another thing that's wonderful. That's in my, my drink that I have. I started putting protein in, and, um, just the red peppers, the onion, and the curry, I stayed away from the peppers. We're not doing peppers. Um, and every time I eat it, my, I don't know how, you know how they have those, uh, like the angels in heaven, oh, like every time I take a spoonful, my body says, oh, and I said, oh, wow, let me get some lentils and another sweet potato. And my body says, and I was like, whoa! So we had a big old bowl last night and I made it to have for breakfast before I come on my walk. So I have like a little thing like that of the soup and I heat it up. And it's holding me good. And my body is very happy. Wow! They talk about make this one happy. Make that one happy. When you make your body happy, it's wonderful. Like you hear that, oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for feeding me good and keep me walking. No, feeding me good and I'll keep walking for you. This is my body talking to me. When I was eating the soup, I'm trying to tell you. It was like, <laughs> whatever is in there, my body needed. And I, I did it. I did it. I found a way to give it what it needed. And whatever's in that sweet potato, my body needed. So instantly when it saw that recipe with sweet potatoes, it was like, you gotta do this, man. This is my body talking to me. You gotta do this, you gotta do this. You gotta get that recipe, you gotta get those sweet potatoes and stuff. And I was like, okay, okay. It was delicious. I'll post it. And I'll show you my, my sample of it. And then, I found this recipe of... I... <laughs> Alright, this is a, a quick Irma Shura. Uh, story. Irma was the real estate that I met, real realtor that I met in Mount Vernon, who was on the Mount Vernon task force. And when I moved to Mount Vernon, I instantly joined the task force because I knew what I was dealing with when I moved back to Mount Vernon. So I wanted to go ahead and be proactive. So I met Irma, and. There's one really good thing that Irma could make, and that is tamales. She wanted that green, that, 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 I don't know, that green wrapping that goes on, I don't know if it's the husk or whatever, but she would do it authentically or wrap everything up in these leaves. Yeah, she was from Louisiana. 
And uh, she would boil the, I mean the whole nine yards. And delicious. Delicious. So again, I'm on YouTube because I'm uploading stuff. And I come across recipe for, she said it's not really, it's, it's just her recipe. I'll, I'll post it on, a, I'll put it up. And she says it's not really tamales. It's it basically, I, the southern way, I southern it up. Cornbread with chili mix in the middle and then cornbread on top. Oh, with some sour cream and some cilantro. Oh, mm, mm, mm. delicious. Hey y'all, let's fast walk. It's almost halfway over. You know what's brought to you by? I like to say yes. Keep the word yes in your child's vocabulary by reading I like to say yes to you, your child. Look at these beautiful color pages. And you know the best thing that I like about this book? And this, I like the fact that when you read it to it, to your child, this is what you're going to give your child. Do you love mommy? Yes. I was with a lot of kids who weren't taught how to love mommy. And uh, that was so sad. Okay, I'm over here looking over my glasses. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, look at my cousin. Hey, cousin Vicky. Hey. Y'all came into the room. All right. Yeah. Let me get some water. Y'all drink some water. Drink your oxygen. Drink your oxygen. Alright. Let's knock this out. No. We ain't rushing when I get upstairs. I go take care of the dogs. Oh, wow. I feel special. Yeah. So, also... I'm saying this is the first month, this is the first week in July that we're walking. It's the end of June. Wednesday will officially make it the end of June. But since we're walking three days June side and three days July side, I'm going with July. First week of July. And I am very happy. I am very happy. Very happy to be walking. Walk with you guys. Yeah. So, I tell you. So, oh, the tamale So That's what, it's delicious. So, I try that. So, And then I'm going to make what's become a staple with us. And then that's all my cooking for the rest of the week. Some of it while I was cooking, I managed to freeze, freeze certain parts. That's what I'm trying to do. Because if you're walking, you got to eat. If you're working out or you're exercising at some point, you got to eat. That's why everything caught up to me when... I wasn't exercising as much as I did because you gotta eat to exercise. Most of us want food. They want protein and water. Just like plants. So, you gotta eat. So I make stuff. I would say, I, my grandmother taught me literally, literally, I was 15, and she had to teach a 15-year-old how to cook. 
I don't, every time I'm up there breaking eggs, because I broke an egg yesterday and a little bit of the shell fell in. And I said, what's wrong with you? That's such an amateur move. <laughs> so then I thought back on when my grandmother was teaching me how to cook and I would crack the eggs and the shell go in and she would get that fork and pull it out and she would be so angry, so upset. But I thought about her and I said, she taught me how to cook. I can look at a recipe now and duplicate it. All her grandkids. Now whether we choose to cook or not, that's our choice. But we all know how to. And very well. All the cousins. If you were around my grandmother, you learned how to cook. You cooked. So, as I was cooking yesterday, I thought about that. I thought, she taught a teenager to cook. And to sew. And how to concentrate hours. How to laser focus. She taught laser focus. As far as uh, time management is concerned. And that's why I... My first husband, he, my first husband, he loved to cook. He loved to cook. So he did the cooking. I was fine with that. I wasn't trying. He kept saying, oh, Americans don't know how to cook. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, I ain't begging nobody to cook. What I, the part I didn't tell you, when my grandmother started teaching me how to cook, she started teaching me how to cook for like 15 people. It wasn't like her and I, she's going to teach me how to do an egg for me, her, and maybe my grandfather, maybe a couple cousins. No. When my grandmother began to teach me to cook, she taught me how to cook for like 15 people or more. So when I, when I as an adult on my own, I am glad that my husband didn't let me cook. And when we separated, I started cooking. But I started cooking food enough for the community. I was still cooking for 15 people. I didn't have little pots. I didn't know how to cook in a little pot. I had big pots. Big pots. So everybody was always coming over. They know I had food. I, just me and my daughter. And then I met my neighbor Annie Pearl. And she comes from South Carolina like I did. She loved to cook. Again, she didn't like to eat too much of my food, so that was getting a win-win situation for me. So what I would do is I, I like to experiment with restaurants. So I would bring her stuff from the restaurant that she didn't have before, that she didn't taste. I, I would just give do little things like that. And uh I just learned how to cook big, but I was thinking yesterday, I was a teenager. She knew how to start slow and work with baking cakes. I can bake a cake from scratch. We all can. We all can. She taught all of us how to bake. The boys, too. Uh, the older boys. I guess you got kind of tired as the younger ones came about. But we know how to bake a cake from scratch. We all do. We know how to measure. We know how to level. We know how to put it down on the counter. You can't measure. You can't measure. Holding it in your hand. It ain't level. Put it down. Put it down. Put it on the counter. Oh, oh lady, oh lady, leave me alone. And then measuring your your, your spoonfuls and stuff like that, and you know, shaving the stuff off. Ah, so you have a level spoon, a level keeping, and of course, home economics help too. Um, so, I was thinking that yesterday when I was doing that cooking, and how I could read a recipe. My grandmother, she loved when she came across, there was a, what was this cake? It was some kind of cake with pudding. 
I mean, I, I can't tell any difference from her other cakes. But there was some cake that someone gave her a recipe and she tried to keep a it. And she made it, and we all loved it because that woman can bake a cake. Okay. And uh, she really started doing it. And later on in life, after she died, I came across the church women's church ladies cake cook big book or something like that. And uh, I thought of my grandmother. I was like, she would fall in love with it. I think one of, no, I think it was a seven up cake that she fell in love with making. I think it was a seven up cake. But she could do everything. I, she could bake, she could cook. I mean, she had to. So we had like cakes and then really cousins, you know. If you got a slice, you better get it almost as it's out of the oven. Because if not, they would eat it all. So I, I came away with a complex. My mother didn't raise us to get you know, hang ups over food. But being in that situation where if you didn't eat your food right then and there, you would have it. I developed a food complex that I had to stop myself from doing. No, it'll be there later. You don't have to eat it all now. For years. You don't have to eat it all now. Leave it there. You can come back later. Cousins aren't going to come snatch it off your plate or eat it if you put it down. You live by yourself. You're a grown woman. So you see, well, my grandmother could cook could bake, cook, anything. Oh, let's get some fingers going, y'all. Whew. Especially with cooking and stuff. Stirring and chopping and chopping and stirring and stirring and chopping. Chopping and stirring, y'all. Yeah. So, I got one more dish I'm going to make today. And I won't be cooking again until next Sunday. That's my goal. That's my intent. And then, because of my mouth reconstruction, you know, because of my mouth reconstruction, I have to do softer stuff. So I'm trying to find recipes like that. But that sweet potato red lentil, oh, if you want your body to sing, if you want the sun to come out in your body to shine on your organs and make them happy that you're alive, whew, that curry lentil with sweet potatoes will do it. <laughs> oh, y'all. I took the dogs out. Did, did the garbage, did the dishes, and now we almost over with our walk. This is a quick walk, and it helps me out all through the day. Y'all subscribe now, YouTube. Are y'all Facebook? Y'all can go to YouTube and subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha! Y'all can like, comment, share. And thanks for coming on the walk. Six months. Six months. I love when I find YouTubers or podcasters that I didn't know about. And I go into their library and they have tons of episodes. I binge. I do very little looking at TV. I will binge. Like, I found husband and wife crime. She's a school teacher, so it's something about her voice that gets me. They have like a hundred and something episode. Please, I don't listen to about 25 of them, and I can't wait to jump back into them. Then you have your YouTubers like Tracy, who she's in 
the beef sector, but she makes me laugh. She reminds me of the folks from the block. She reminds me of the folks from the block. She can read, she says, she can read me. I love when she said that. She call a teacher when she reads you. What she said, she said, look, because there's old ladies that try to come after Tracy. And she said, listen, old lady, don't let me have to stomp you in your dentures. Because you see, I go after old people. I know. So she went on this. And I was like, whoa, nobody is safe. But of course, I was laughing throughout the whole thing. And <laughs> let's do 10. Now, I would not be able to say that. Of course, I couldn't speak to an old person like that. I was taught to be very respectful. But if that old person is in the beef sector and everybody's beefing, then I can't say anything. That's what they do. They go after your weakness. And to them, especially young people, age is a weakness. So, oh, 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 oh. so they be tearing the old people up. Just like when I was on Vigo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, one for good luck, y'all. Hey, we're almost done. This quick walk is over. I gotta go upstairs and do the recycling. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking, walking. If you sang the song, you would get the just for me. Not that I'm saying it's selfish. I'm hoping you sing the song, and when you get to that part, you would say just for you. I'm walking. Yes, indeed, I'm walking. Oh, yeah, just for me. I'm walking. Thank you for the company. I'm walking. Happy to be walking, happy, happy, happy to be walking. Thank you for the company. Thank y'all. I love you, I love you, I love it. Thanks for coming on the walk. YouTube, hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow.